to his name. The Bible says no sin will enter into the kingdom. And in God's eyes, sin is sin. It don't matter what it is. is not because you got caught. Repentance is not asking God to forgive you and you do it anyway. But Paul says it's grace or license to sin, God forbid. Churches today think they can do whatever they want, even though God says it's sin. Yeah, I'm gonna preach to you a little bit. Because that's what Jesus Christ called me to do. Yes, he called everyone a commandment. The commandment is to go to the whole world. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, which is one, Jesus. And make disciples, not some men, not some people, but all people. To make disciples and let them know there is a new born again experience that you need in your life today. They're telling you now, I've seen it on, uh, I don't know, TikTok, YouTube, something. They're telling the people that's out there, telling them about Jesus on the streets. They need to go back to church. And if we want to go, we'll go to your church. Well, really, tell you the truth. There's no Bible about being saved in church. It's going to highways and the byways and compel them to come in. I believe in church. Do not get me wrong. Don't go telling someone, Brad, don't believe in church. But more than church, what I believe in is that personal walk one-on-one -on -one every day with Him. And come out and be ye separate, saith the Lord. That's what we need to do these last days to come out. Get back to the basics of the Word of God. It's on my heart today. I don't care if you're the best person on the earth. If you're not giving your life to Jesus to have a death, burial, and resurrection, oh, this is going to get hard, but you're going to split hell wide open. Because you got to have that born again, that second born again experience. See, we was all born in the sin, shaping in iniquity. That's what the Word says. A lot of people want to tell you and, and debate about it, but they don't even know the Word. See, they hear people talking the Word. And the people who's talking to them don't even feel with the Holy Ghost through the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the Holy Ghost will lead and direct you into all, my son, all truth. I don't care what kind of degree you got. And I don't care what kind of cemetery, I mean seminary you went to. The Holy Ghost will lead and direct you into all truth. these new Bibles, even King James, all that, they're changing it, they're watering it down. How do you think you're going to get the new wine? Faith by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. you got to hear the Word to believe the word. It ain't just someone speaking it. It's God speaking it to you as you read the word. It says study. You study yourself. Show yourself a prayer. Don't go to see someone. Go back and read what the word of God has to say and see what the Holy Spirit will be in your heart about.
the sight Walk by faith Not by sight Walk by faith His name is Jesus Christ
tell you, you know, you're crazy. You know? They never read the word. Or if they did, they read it in in the letter, not in the spirit. You gotta be filled with the spirit of God. Let God lead and direct you into all truth. You can't lead yourself. You can be the finest person in the world, split the hell wide open, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Cemetery. I mean, cemetery. I'm sorry. But I've got the HG degree, the Holy Ghost degree. That's more important than anything. Because the Bible says you have not the same spirit. You're not his. You're not his. Blood. The Bible says you got to deny yourself daily. Take up your cross, my cross, and follow him, or I'm not even fit for the kingdom. See, that's not taught because it don't sell books. The Bible wants that itch years like the Bible says in the last days. Tell me something good. Don't tell me something I don't want to hear. Don't tell me something goes against my pleasure in this world. I'm sorry, this man here is going to preach the pure word of God and I'll water it down. This is part of the golden nuggets. God said this is golden nuggets I'm sharing with you today.
It's time to get radical. true Christian. Someone that ain't never gave their life to the Lord, it's very simple. Acts 2.38 tells you, they ask Peter, what must we do to be saved? And he said, repent. What's that? Realize you're a sinner in need of the Savior, Jesus Christ. Realize that you've done things wrong and ask God to forgive you and you turn away from that lifestyle. Send the word and says it's a sin. God never changes his ways. Sin's a sin. So don't go, you know, saying once a new generation so we believe it's this way or the Bible meant this way or meant that way. No. Sin sin. Turn back home to Jesus today. Still time. Repent. Then he, then he said, be baptized. And it's not just a, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't believe you got to be watered back. Well, that's what the Bible said. Jesus was death, burial, and resurrection. And this is what Jesus said. You must be born again of water and spirit. Or you can't enter or see the kingdom of heaven. They got to have that born again experience. I'm sharing with you what it is today. Repent. That's dying out of your sins. That's Jesus hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. And then he buried. He was very, if you read the word, he put in a brand new tomb. Jesus was. Your tomb today is Jesus named baptism, a watery baptist grave. In the name of Jesus Christ, all said all, not just some. So that is a commandment. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? The only name, not titles, the only name is to remit you from your sins. The one who died on the cross, the flesh of God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And then the Bible says you shall receive a promise. Which of the Holy Ghost. And people say, well, I don't believe I need that. Well, the next verse says it's unto you and to your children and to your children's children and as many as the Lord God shall call. That's where I get them. Did he call you? Did he come and die for the whole world that you might live and have life that more abundantly? But then the Holy Ghost is for you too. Because that's the death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus even said if you have not the same spirit, you won't, you won't enter into heaven. See, people say, all oh, your heart, Brett. No, I'm just telling what Jesus, I'm just echoing what the Word of God says. So do that today. Don't put it off. Bible always says today is the day of salvation. Even if you don't come back in the rapture, you'd be taken out. Tomorrow may be your last day on this earth. No man knows when we're going to die. Remember the old story where the guy laid up all his treasures up in the barns and everything. And Jesus said, that foolish person, today I require thee of your soul. So you can build up all you want and think you're going to live for the rest of your life on these material things and find out that today may be your hour that Jesus calls you. Are you going home with him? Or are you going to a place called hell? Where the worm died now. See, Jesus 
loved us so much he gave us a choice. But he didn't come down and beat you in the head and say you gotta be it my way or else. And you know what's really weird about that's the love of Christ, but he created you. He can say you gotta do whatever I tell you to do. But he's not that way. He's looking for someone that'll worship him in spirit and in truth today. See that there's a void in everybody's heart. Some try to fill it with alcohol, some try to fill it with women and sex and booze. But that void was not there for that. That void was for Jesus to come into your life. The Bible says he's given every man a measure of faith. I don't care if you call yourself atheist or not. You've got a measure of faith in you. See, I gotta live it. When I when I was born again, I'm not a better Brad or a new Brad. I'm a new creation. Behold, all things pass away. Behold, all things become new. But if I don't die daily, speak to the Lord, and talk to Him every day, the old fleshly nature may try to come back up on me. I'm not a slave to it no more, but I've got a choice. And if I'm not feeding on good things, the spiritual things, I will be feeding on the wicked. So today, I'm talking to Christians now. Look at this life in a different way. Don't look at it, Lord, what are you going to do for me today? Look at it, Lord, what can I do for your kingdom today? Can I be your body? I don't care if I'm a foot, a toe, a finger, whatever it is. I just want to be the body of Christ. You know, this ladder in front of rain, I think where it's really going to fall down on is the people in the streets. I think you're going to see, you know, where the Joel says, you know, uh, God was going to prophesy, going to dream, dream dreams and see visions. And I don't think it's going to be all these people that went to uh, cemetery. I mean, I'm sorry, sanctuary. I think it's going to be the ones that enter into the throne room of Christ. And be like Isaiah says, here I am, Lord. Use me. Will you say that today? Lift your hand up and speak to God and say, Here I am, Lord. Use me. If I gotta take the coals to cleanse my lips, use me. Let me not get in the way of anything anymore. But let me be led by you and only you. Folks, that's what's on my heart today. I may get some people get mad. You know, the enemies come to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus come that we might have life. They didn't like what Jesus was saying. Those old Pharisees didn't like what he was saying. Even though it was true life. He was messing them up. Messing their thought pattern. And what they always believed. Thought Moses was bigger than Jesus. But Jesus put him in his place. Mm. Even Abraham. He said, before Abraham was, I am. Jesus pretty well told him that I am. He said it in Revelations, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And he's telling my, oh, thou art yet 30 years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? He said, before Abraham was, I am. <laughs> so realize who you serve today. The one that's coming back to take his pride away. I had no problem with that. Someone said, oh, I guess you're married to Jesus. Yes, I am. Thank you. I'll tell you, I'm married to Jesus. The whole church, true church, the remnant, is married to Jesus. He's coming back for a church without 
spot or wrinkle. That's what the word says. And you all want to hear you say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. God bless you. I hope that fed, fed you a little bit. God gave me this. And I just loaded it up on the looper and did a little picking and then gave me a little bit of a seam part of it. Mm. Give your life to Jesus today. Don't put it on. This whole world is about ready to end. We're about ready to hear the old trumpet sound. Gable's gonna blow his horn. Be ready and be prepared.